Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video and today I don't have an actual game specific tutorial I have more of a general editing tutorial on how you guys can make the Star Wars intro crawl in both After Effects and DaVinci Resolve Quickly before I actually get into it though I just want to say that both project files are gonna be in the description So if you want to download those those will be down below But with that being said make sure to drop a like subscribe a lot of you guys will watch my videos 70% of you guys are not actually subscribed to the channel yet So make sure to drop a sub it is 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later Later dates. And if you guys want to see more general editing videos like this that aren't specific to like Fortnite, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. I'd be more than happy to listen to some of you guys. But I hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys on my PC. Alrighty guys, so starting off with After Effects, the first thing I'm going to be showing you is I'm just going to show the project file and I'm going to be going over how you can kind of recreate it. So uh, right here we got the uh, Star Wars intro and uh, I actually recreated this all myself. Um, a couple assets you'll need will be in the Google Drive and that's pretty much that. Um, but literally the first thing we start off with, I did actually analyze the Star Wars crawl from A New Hope. So that is actually what I've gotten the timing on this. So pretty much what you want to do from the zero second point to the five second point, by the way, I'm in 24 FPS, uh, which is how they do it in normal movies. So make sure you have your uh, composition right up here set to 24 FPS like that. And, uh, I have just a normal text layer right here with the Arial font, just the standard Arial font right here. I'll quickly show you. Or actually, no, it's not the Arial font. I have it changed to the Franklin Gothic. Sorry. Um, I did have it Arial at the beginning. That is just the normal font for the crawl. But Franklin Gothic is the long time ago in a galaxy far, far away text. Uh, slightly different from Arial. But, you know, trust me, it makes a difference. If you are like a big time Star Wars fan, you will notice the difference. Um, but right here, we're just going to press this drop down menu. And you can see I have a bit of a hue sat lightness on top of this BCC plugin just to kind of boost the color. Uh, without it, it would kind of be a bit darker. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but uh, that's just what it looks like. And then I have a bit of a glow, and that kind of adds like a bit of an ambient noise around the sides of it. So I'll have the presets for those in the description if you guys want to add those to your thing. And then we also have like a bit of a BCC brightness just to kind of brighten the uh, the text itself. And that is pretty much it for the text. Uh, what I have right here on either side is say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 frame on either side fade in for opacity 0 to 100% and then 100 to 0 percent that is the actual long time ago in a far or in a galaxy far far away uh, text right at the beginning and then we go from seven seconds or not five seven seconds I'm saying five seconds right here all the way until seven seconds and that is the first frame that will actually have the Star Wars thing come in at the beginning. And this is a normal PNG that I just got off the internet. You can see right here, it's just if you look up Star Wars logo, it's just the first thing that comes up. Uh, just make sure you have the PNG transparent one because it becomes a bit of a pain in the ass to actually key out the background. And it's not the best, or not the funnest thing, or most fun, I don't know, proper grammar, not my thing. Um, but uh, what we're going to do right here, I'll just quickly show you what the scaling looks like. What I did originally start off with is we have the scale set to 90 right up here. And then we have it scaled down all the way until it is at 1% like you can see. And I'll quickly show you what I have for the graph. I did easy ease these keyframes by pressing F9. You just press F9 on your keyboard when you select the frames. And then the graph right here, this is what the graph looks like. I don't know if you wanna pause the video and copy that down. That's pretty much just what it looks like. It does a bit of a thing like there. And then at the very end, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, again, frame fade, just like that. And right at this, at this uh, 20 second point right here is where we have it fully fade out and this is where the actual um, thing comes in here so I actually made a bit of a practice edit thing for like a kind of like the editing community because I do do a lot of Fortnite videos and it's just kind of like a joke thing right here but I'm going to show you how you can actually get the crawl text itself and I also have the background in the description if you want to download that and then we have a bit of a black bars over the top uh, I'll show you how to do that at the very end but for right here uh, what you can do is you can just do new composition. So I'll just quickly show you how to recreate it. You just do new composition. You have it set to like 1920 by you can do like 5000 or something like that. You can see it does something like long like this. You just take the text tool, make a little text box just like that. And then you can type in whatever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then if you wanted to, you could just paste it a bunch just like that. And that would just fill it out. And then if you want to like, I don't know, like delete. Uh, 
something like that make like a bit of a break if you want um but that's pretty much that that's how you do your t thing and then you just type everything you want in the crawl just like that i'll quickly show you what the one that i made looks like so um that's just gonna be over here composition one and i have it formatted like this so i have it set to like that and then at the very beginning i'll quickly show you this is all aerial text by the way aerial bold for this one and then all these are uh sets to just aerial bold down here 140 pixel size but this one is set to 165 and then i have the uh, stretch set to 202 on the right side right here episode one is just the exact same just a bit smaller 98 percent or 98 pixels what am i saying and we have a bit of a double space right here and then we have double spaces in between each paragraph and all you got to do from there is you literally go into your media pool you drag in the composition once you've actually finished it just so here or just so it's it, it's it's here i don't know what I'm, I'm i can't speak proper english right now but you drag that in just like that and all we got to do from here is we bring up this menu uh you're gonna want to select the box right here so you select this little cube tool and what that'll do is it'll give you advanced options just right here with the x rotation the y rotation all that stuff um so what you're gonna do just change for me what i found uh, works the best is x rotation set to negative 65 right here and we can see if we mess around with the x rotation it like rotates the text just like that so you're gonna set the x rotation to like negative 65 that's what i feel like works best for me just like that and you can see it works good uh, all we got to do here is set our anchor point to somewhere off the screen so right here you press a little stopwatch a little clock emoji you set that to somewhere off the screen and then at the very very end you have it set to let me quickly get rid of the opacity right here just so it doesn't fade out it's 100 percent just so we can still see the text you have it so it's like somewhere at the top of the screen so obviously you'd like drag it pretty much you have the control of the speed by doing this so if you have it somewhere down here it's gonna move like super super slowly like look how slow that's going you want to have it somewhere where it's like up up at the top reasonable speed just like that uh, I do have the audio muted just because um, of copyright purposes. I don't want to have this video get taken down or anything just in case. And then obviously at the very end, we'll do a bit of an opacity fade. So you just set the thing to uh, 100 right here. Sorry. 100. You have it. Uh, fade outs to zero. Just like that. Does a bit of a fade out. And that is pretty much that. I just have the background fade out with it. And obviously you have the song peak right here in the audio come in at the same time as the logo. Uh, but as far as that, that's pretty much how you do that. And then obviously to add black bars, you just press control alt Y, drag the layer to the very top, and then you add motion tile. Uh, we can see the black bars are right here, just like this. It's not really, I don't know why I clicked on that. Uh, but you can see the black bars come up to these points right here. All you got to do is you see look up motion tile or, or however you add your effects. And I'll quickly show you. We have motion tile and I just have the output height set to 80. That's pretty much how I do my black bars throughout the entire thing. But that is that. Um, that's pretty much how you do Star Wars intro. It's super, super simple. You just got to get good at uh, editing, kind of have good workflow, all that stuff. Uh, the only font you really have to install is uh, Franklin Gothic. And I'm pretty sure that's already on your PC if you want to download the better one. Uh, just download the Franklin Gothic normal font. I know that the this one is medium. I'm not sure if that's a preset one on Windows, so you'll have to check that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini tutorial. Like I said, all the presets and assets will be in the description, like the background, the Star Wars logo. Uh, I'll put the song in there even, and then I'll put in uh, the font too, as well as the effects for the text. Hope you guys did enjoy that little mini tutorial, though. I'm going to move on to DaVinci Resolve, and I'll see you guys in there. Alrighty guys, so we are in DaVinci. I'll quickly show you project settings are set to 1920 by 1080, of course, 24 FPS. Uh, what I'm going to show you, this might be a bit advanced. I'm just going to give you a bit of a warning. This is not a beginner's tutorial for DaVinci. Trust me, uh, it's going to involve some fusion work. But uh, with that being said, let's uh, get right into it. So the first thing we have is we have the text saying a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You can do Arial, but the font I find that works best is actually going to be franklin gothic medium you can mess around with either of them it's just the normal i have it set to this blue you can color the co or copy the color code if you want but that's uh, what i have it set to and uh that is just a five second portion it lasts from 
five seconds exactly. I have it fade out on either side just like that. And then at the seven second mark, we actually have everything come in. So this is where the music peaks right here. Obviously, the Star Wars opening music. And then we have the background start at this point. We have the logo start at this point. And pretty much for this, what I actually have, let me turn this down so I can actually hear myself talk. Um, we have just a font called Jedi. I don't even know. So let me quickly... I'm just going to copy the fusion node from here just so I don't lose it, just so I can show you guys. But we're gonna actually going to decompose. This is just a compound clip right here. But the uh, it's called SF Distant Galaxy Outline. That's the font I'm using. I haven't changed to Editor Wars because that's a uh, little thing I was doing for my Twitter because obviously I'm an editor, blah, 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 blah. You get it. Um, but that is that. We have the font size set to 267, just so you guys know. But I'll uh, put it back in a composition. So once you do that, you can just right-click, make it a compound clip, and then follow along with this. So we have a transform right here. Uh, you can set the duration from 7 seconds all the way to 17, so it lasts a straight 10. I'll have the preset for the transform in the description. That way you can just copy-paste it into the Fusion tab. We're going to get rid of the spline. But what this looks like is it starts off at the size set at 2.9, the very end we have it set to 0.17 and then i have a bit of an opacity fade there as well and something i also noticed about this font is it doesn't have the letters connected so you will unfortunately have to get a solid color from right here and uh like size it down mess around with it just zoom it out or whatever and mess around with the sizing just to and like orient it so if you want to rotate it or something like that just to kind of block out part of the thing so i have it i have block it blocked out right here so let me just quickly show you just a solid color without it it looks like that so i just have it kind of positioned there just so you guys have an idea of that uh but let me put it back in a fusion composition or in a compound clip what am i saying and at the 17 second mark we actually have this fusion composition let me quickly show you what the fusion composition looks like it is getting you can't really see any of the crawl right now but i will fix it um all we got to do is we have to drag in our media in let me quickly see which is this one i believe yeah okay so right here let me quickly decompose it this right here is a text node and i had to manually do all the spacing this is the crawl from a new hope uh the classic for or classic a star wars movie i don't know to think fortnite what am i saying I've, I've made too many fortnite videos i can't think but um this is just the star wars text right here it is a period of civil war blah blah blah, blah. This is from a new hope. So that is that. I did all the spacing. This is Arial font, regular. I have it so it's at the top of the screen to the bottom, and I have it all spaced out good, ready to go. Here are all the other settings if you want to copy that down. Boom, you should have seen it. And uh, there's some layout stuff. I don't think I really changed anything here, but just in case, I don't know. For some reason, you need it, just do that. And obviously, it's just a compound clip, so I'm just going to undo it just so it is a compound clip. And what we're going to do is you're going to copy this fusion right here. You're going to have image plane 3D, renderer 3D, and media in. Without the renderer 3D, we show you, it just doesn't exist. If you connect it right here, it's literally just normal text. I don't know why it's not wanting to connect. Ah, never mind. Whatever. Um, but without the media in, I'll quickly show you. You just go to your media pool. You drag in the compound clip that you actually have set, and then you connect it to your image plane. And then right here, you can preview the image plane by pressing this little dot. And you can see that there's all this text in this little workspace right here. You can press control and scroll wheel to zoom out. And with that being said, you can go to your transform in your image plane and do all the positioning. What I suggest you do is do an X rotate or not an X rotate, uh, X positioning, just because by default, for some reason, it isn't centered and that's not very good. Um, so make sure you do that. And then obviously you do the X rotate right here. Um, the value I have it set to is 46.9 and then these are all my starting values right here You can copy those down and then at the very end I have all this copied So just copy this right here Just make sure it lasts a similar duration because you'll have to adjust the keyframes if you don't But what it pretty much does is it's starting at this uh, Y and Z value right here it's Starting at this Y and Z value and then as it moves along, it changes to those Y and Z values. So it moves up the screen, it gets far further away, and it also moves further up, if that makes sense. With the Z and Y values, you probably will know how a graph works if you uh, do editing. And renderer, you just pretty much drag that in. That does all the rendering from the image plane 3D, translates it to media out, and that's pretty much that. 
you can see it just does a little scroll and that is pretty much that i mean you can delete it after you don't really need it but uh if you do restart the project i believe it does glitch out a couple times that's why we didn't have the text when i first loaded up the project so if you want to have the compound clip like you could even have it right here and just like disable the video track just so it is there or you could like put it in its own thing up here disable it just so it's not there but the data is there for the actual fusion composition to read that and then obviously at the seven second point we have the crawl background start which is just galaxy you can see the stars in the background we also have the music peak at that point as well and that is pretty much all you need i mean that's just how you do your little thing at the very end you fade the opacity it fades out and you call it a day but if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down below in the comments if you want to see any more general editing tutorials let me know i will see you guys in a new video peace out feel free to drop them down below in the comments editing tutorials let me know